even when you're cooking pasta, guys, like I, I am right now with a, this Italian tuna fettuccine, whatever it's called, it doesn't really matter with the pasta if it's slightly undercooked because it's going to cook more once you recook the pasta with the tuna and the vegetables. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is strain this pasta under cold water and then we'll get on to the next step. Okay guys, so I'm just basically using the same pot. Okay, I only have a stainless steel pot and I use this for everything pasta and curries and everything else. So this pot's pretty hot at the moment. So what I'm about to do now is put the olive oil in. Just a decent amount guys. Yeah. It's a bit of smoke coming off, but that's just from the bottom of the pat from the bottom of the pot. So anyway guys, you want this oil hot but not, you know, so it's bubbling and so forth. So it's basically ready to go now. Okay, so the first thing guys I'm going to add in is the onions. Beautiful. So you just want to saute these onions guys, you don't want to make the onions brown. And how they are now, that's when you'd add the garlic if you had garlic. So just give it a stir guys. Okay, so those onions are ready to go now. So the next ingredient, guys, is the vegetables. You don't have to have the vegetables first, but you can add that last if you want. But I'll do it first at the moment. So I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. The reason I'm adding more olive oil, guys, is because those onions would have sucked up all the olive oil. So just give it a good stir, like you're cooking a stir fry. I'm even using my old army cup. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is put in about a quarter of a cup of water. Just like that. Give it a stir. Because what's going to happen now is that water is going to help these vegetables cook a bit quicker. So put the lid back on and turn the temperature down to low and just let it steam for about another, say, five minutes and then we'll add the pasta to the vegetables. Alright guys, it's ready to go now. So, what I'm going to throw in now is the pasta. Still got three more ingredients to go in. So the pasta goes in like that. Smells beautiful. So even if you're a vegetarian watching this, you don't have to add tuna. You can just do it exactly the same as what I'm doing now, but just don't add the tuna. So you just got to stir all that pasta in with the vegetables. The tomatoes, or the tomatoes as you call them in America. And a couple of tablespoons, it's up to you, of the um, sun dried tomatoes. And the 
second last ingredient it's a tuna so when you add the tuna if it's got oil in it there's no need to strain the tuna make sure you add the oil with the tuna into the into the recipe just give it a stir around you know don't stir it but just lift it up like that and flick it over you don't need much salt guys just a little bit because don't forget the tuna is already quite salty and about five so I don't know, I like pepper, seven, eight, eight sprinkles of pepper, stir it in, well guys this is well and truly cooked now, it's absolutely beautiful, and the very final ingredient guys, you don't have to, you don't have to keep it on the stove, it's just a bit of um, the feta cheese and some normal grated um, semi-matured cheese. So put that in like that. We'll just give it a stir around. And it's ready to go. There you go, guys. And sprinkle with a little bit of feta cheese. And that is what you call Australian Army style Italian tuna fettuccine Alfredo. Well, I hope you like it and Sweden. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. And feel free to like, subscribe, share, add to your favourites. And have a great night. See you guys.